From Hollywood glam to ranch life serenity, the Magnum P.I. star, Tom Selleck, once lived a fast-paced celebrity lifestyle, but traded it all in for life on a quiet ranch, on a sprawling property in gorgeous Ventura County, California, just north of Los Angeles. What made this famous actor choose to get away from the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown? What draws him to live a low-key life in this coastal community? How does he pass the days on his ranch, far from the buzz of Hollywood? What's behind the former A-lister's surprising yet refreshing downshift to simplicity? Join us as we look into Tom Selleck's insane lifestyle, which will leave you shocked. Tom Selleck leaves the applause behind. At the pinnacle of his career, Tom Selleck, portraying the iconic lead role in Magnum P.I., made a surprising decision. He walked away. His departure wasn't fueled by disdain for the show or exhaustion from the work itself, but rather a yearning for what he termed a three-dimensional life. Look, we did eight really successful movies at CBS. Despite eight fruitful seasons and a string of successful CBS movies, Selleck felt the need to demarcate boundaries between work, family, and personal time. When asked the reason for his decision, he explained, saying that he didn't quit the show because he was tired of it, or that he didn't like doing the show, but it was because he was tired from it. During the show's production, Selleck's commitment was unyielding, often clocking in 90-hour work weeks and squeezing movie shoots into every hiatus. The relentless schedule eventually wore him down, prompting his departure despite the show's immense success. Stepping away proved to be a rejuvenating choice for the actor, though it astonished fans. Now 76 years old, Selleck remains an enigmatic figure in Hollywood, valuing privacy above all else. In an interview with People magazine, he emphasized the importance of spending time with loved ones, a sentiment that underscores his fiercely guarded personal life. Despite his reluctance to be in the spotlight, Selleck's career has endured, spanning over four decades and encompassing a variety of crime dramas. He attributes his longevity in the industry to his ability to maintain a semblance of normalcy amidst fame's trappings. Yet, even as he shies away from public attention, Selleck acknowledges the inevitable allure of celebrity. Amidst the constant clamor for his attention, he remains steadfast in his desire for a balanced life, navigating the complexities of stardom with grace and humility. With such a vibrant career, what pushed Tom over the edge to walk away from it all? Is what he has better than what he has going on? Join us as we look into Tom's life without a script, Tom Selleck's controversial water heist. Once he quit the show, the family was ready to move into their ranch to start a family, but it wasn't all smooth sailing. In a surprising turn of events, the beloved on-screen hero found himself embroiled in legal trouble for an unexpected reason, stealing water. Tom Selleck and his wife of over 30 years, Jilly Mack, faced serious legal consequences in 2015 when they were sued for pilfering truckloads of water from a hydrant serving a construction site during the California drought. According to the Caleguas Municipal Water District, Selleck allegedly used a large water tender truck to make at least 12 trips from the hydrant to his property. However, authorities speculated that some trips might have gone undetected, making it impossible to determine the full extent of the stolen water. Despite receiving cease and desist letters in late 2013, the actor purportedly continued his water-gathering activities unabated, prompting legal action. In the aftermath, Selleck was required to pay almost $22,000 to cover the costs of a private investigation and further damages. Additionally, he faced restrictions, being banned from taking any more of the district's water for personal use. The incident cast an unexpected shadow on the actor's reputation and served as a reminder of the complexities and consequences surrounding environmental issues during times of crisis. How the Ranch Saves Selleck's Sanity Nestled amidst the picturesque landscape of California, 
Tom Selleck's ranch serves as his sanctuary, preserving his sanity amidst the chaos of life. Contrary to expectation, it's not the glitz of Hollywood that captivates him, but rather the simple pleasures found in the grunt work of ranch life. He delights in doing the rounds, watching the land flourish, and overseeing the growth of the native trees in his avocado farm, despite his aversion to the fruit itself. Originally constructed in the 1930s, with a storied past including ownership by luminaries such as Dean Martin and car dealer Fletcher Jones, the ranch holds a special place in Selleck's heart. Purchased by Selleck in 1988 for over $5 million, it represents more than just a financial investment. It's a retreat from the ephemeral nature of showbiz. Despite his demanding schedule, which sees him alternating between filming Blue Bloods in New York City and shooting his annual Jesse Stone TV movie in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Selleck cherishes every moment he spends on his ranch. Spread across 65 acres, the Spanish-style colonial-era house boasts eight spacious bedrooms, in addition to accommodations for staff. But the ranch isn't just a place of respite. It's a reflection of Selleck's values and passions. Alongside the stables and corrals for livestock, there's a swimming pool, a tennis court, and even a heliport. For golf enthusiasts, there's a three-hole putting course and a practice screen. Despite these modern amenities, it's the authenticity of ranch life that truly grounds Selleck, providing a counterpoint to the artifice of Hollywood. In contrast to his Hollywood residences, such as the legendary Los Angeles apartment adorned with eclectic decor, or the Hawaii home during his Magnum P.I. days, Selleck's ranch exudes a rugged masculinity. Even though he maintained a family home in Hawaii, his heart remained tethered to the ranch, where he found solace amidst the rolling hills and expansive skies. Selleck's retreat to the ranch is a testament to his appreciation for the tangible rewards of hard work and the simplicity of life. Despite his success and fame, he remains grounded, finding fulfillment in the quiet expanse of his sanctuary. It's noteworthy that even the decor of his Los Angeles apartment, designed by James Blakely III, exuded similar masculine energy, reflecting Selleck's affinity for authenticity and enduring values. Has the star found his best life on the ranch? In the serene embrace of their rustic ranch, Selica and his British wife found a profound appreciation for the raw beauty of the countryside, a stark contrast to the glitz and glamour of Los Angeles and the tranquil shores of Hawaii. Despite concerns that shying away from the limelight might dim Salika's career prospects post-Magnum P.I., the actor has not only sustained his star status, but elevated it to new heights. Magnum P.I. may have been the launch pad, but it was the iconic mustache and the charm Selica infused into the role that truly defined him. While he graced the silver screen in over 50 films, it's three men and a baby that holds a special place in many hearts, including mine. A brief dalliance with television ensued, notably his memorable stint on Friends, as Monica's boyfriend, Dr. Richard Burke. Dad, I'm the Twinkie. You're the Twinkie? She's not a Twinkie. All right, look, look, you guys. Dad, I'm the Twinkie, you're the Twinkie, remains a classic line etched in sitcom history. Yet, Selica's most enduring role came with a return to the small screen, portraying the steadfast police commissioner Frank Reagan in the long-running CBS police drama Blue Bloods, now entering its astonishing 12th season, surpassing even the tenure of Magnum P.I. But no matter the character or the setting, one thing remains constant. Salika's iconic mustache, an ever-present symbol of his timeless appeal, from camera lights to porch nights. Tom Selleck's journey into stardom is a captivating narrative interwoven with charm, versatility, and sheer determination, spanning decades of memorable moments in the limelight. His career on the screen began with his captivating presence on the small screen, making waves with appearances on the iconic show The Dating Game, 
not once, but twice, in 1965 and 1967, showcasing his wit and charisma as a college senior. We'd like you to meet Tom Selleck. Good luck, Tom. However, it was his magnetic allure in commercials that hinted at the star power yet to be unleashed, promoting products ranging from Pepsi-Cola to Salem cigarettes and Revlon's Chaz Cologne. Selleck's trajectory into Hollywood continued with ventures into cinema, where he embraced roles in films such as Myra Breckenridge, gaining invaluable experience and refining his craft alongside legendary figures like Mae West. But it was television where he truly left his mark, appearing in a myriad of TV series, miniseries, and movies, captivating audiences with his versatility and range. Selleck's rugged charm and undeniable presence set him apart. As the face of brands like Right Guard in 1971, with Farrah Fawcett in 1972 for the aperitif Dubonnet, and another in 1977 for the toothpaste close-up. Selleck exuded confidence and sophistication, leaving an indelible impression on viewers everywhere. His talent for embodying iconic characters further solidified his status. In 1972, he starred in the B-movie Daughters of Satan and a recurring role in the 1970s as the suave private investigator Lance White in The Rockford Files to the dashing cowboy Orrin Sackett in The Sacketts. Then Selleck shifted gears, portraying a cat burglar in 1930s London in Lassiter in 1984. Quigley Down Under is one of his best-known Western films, but it was for his 1997 role in Last Stand at Sabre River that he won a Western Heritage Award. But it was the role of Thomas Magnum in Magnum P.I. that catapulted Selleck to superstardom. With his trademark mustache, Aloha shirts, and Ferrari 308 GTS, Selleck became the epitome of cool, captivating audiences worldwide. Even after the show's conclusion in 1988, his legacy endured, with Magnum P.I. solidifying its place as one of television's most beloved series. Selleck confirmed that he was the most popular choice by fans to play the role of Magnum in the once-rumored Magnum P.I. movie, for which he received five Emmy Award nominations for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series, winning in 1985. During the Magnum years, he also starred as an acrophobic police detective in Runaway and a stand-in father in Three Men and a Baby, which was the biggest hit at the American box office in 1987. In 1989, he ended the decade by starring in the romantic comedy Her Alibi and Crime Drama, An Innocent Man. Since 2010, Selleck has co-starred as New York City Police Commissioner Frank Reagan in the series Blue Bloods. Beginning in 2005, he has portrayed troubled small-town police chief Jesse Stone in nine television films based on the Robert B. Parker novels. Beyond his on-screen triumphs, Selleck continued to push the boundaries of his craft, lending his voice to AT&T's futuristic advertising campaigns in 1993 and delving into the mysteries of the universe on TLC's The Practical Guide to the Universe in the mid-1990s. His last two cowboy roles to date were in the 2001 TNT movie, Crossfire Trail, based on a Louis L'Amour novel of the same name, and the 2003 motion picture, Monty Walsh. In 2001, Selleck played the lead role of Murray in a Broadway revival of Herb Gardner's comedic play, A Thousand Clowns. Critics, though far from uniformly negative about Selleck's performance, generally compared it unfavorably to that of Jason Robards, who won awards in the 1960s for playing the character on stage and in a movie version. His versatility shone through in roles as diverse as General Dwight D. Eisenhower in Ike Countdown to D-Day in 2004 and the troubled lawman Jesse Stone in a series of made-for-TV movies starting in 2005. Throughout his illustrious career, Selleck has continuously surprised audiences, showcasing talents beyond acting. In 2021, he made his album debut singing Yes Sir, That's My Baby, 
with Nicholas King recorded live in 2001 during their run of A Thousand Clowns on King's album Act One, released by Club 44 Records. This unexpected foray into music added yet another dimension to his already impressive repertoire, proving that Tom Selleck is not just a Hollywood icon, but a multifaceted talent whose influence knows no bounds. Meet the man behind the mustache. The intriguing life of Tom Selleck began in the bustling city of Detroit, Michigan, back in 1945. Born to Martha Selleck, a dedicated housewife whose roots traced back to the Jagger family, and Robert Dean Selleck, a shrewd executive and real estate investor, Tom's early years were shaped by the bustling energy of the Motor City. Amidst the urban landscape, Tom shared his childhood with siblings, who peppered his life with joy and mischief. An elder brother, Robert, paved the way in 1944, followed by a younger sister, Martha, born on a crisp November day in 1953, and a sprightly younger brother, Daniel, who joined the clan in 1956. While Tom's lineage boasted predominantly English heritage, a hint of German ancestry added spice to his family tree. Unraveling his roots revealed a fascinating tale of an English colonist named David Selleck, whose bold journey from Somerset, England to Massachusetts in 1633 marked the genesis of Tom's American lineage. Remarkably, Tom stands as the 11th generation of his family to be born on North American soil, a testament to the enduring legacy woven through the centuries. In 1948, the Selleck family embarked on a new chapter, bidding farewell to Detroit and embracing the sun-kissed allure of Sherman Oaks, California. It was here that Tom embarked on his academic journey, graduating from Grant High School in 1962 before venturing into higher education at Los Angeles Valley College. With a towering stature of six feet four inches, Tom's athletic prowess led him to the hallowed courts of the University of Southern California, where he donned the jersey of the USC Trojans men's basketball team and showcased his skills as a pitcher and designated hitter for the USC baseball team. Amidst the camaraderie of the Sigma Chi fraternity and the honor of Trojan Knights, Tom's college years were imbued with a vibrant blend of sportsmanship and camaraderie. Yet, amidst the echoes of applause on the courts and the diamond, fate whispered a different path for Tom. Encouraged by a drama coach, he dipped his toes into the world of acting, a decision that would alter the course of his destiny. With bold resolve, Tom bid adieu to business administration and embraced the art of thespian craft, honing his skills under the tutelage of Milton Katzelas at the prestigious Beverly Hills Playhouse. Even as the winds of change swept across the nation during the Vietnam War, Tom's commitment to service remained unwavering. Answering the call of duty, he joined the California National Guard, serving with honor in the 160th Infantry Regiment from 1967 to 1973, a testament to his valor and dedication to his country. In matters of the heart, Tom's journey found its anchor in love. A union with model Jacqueline Ray from 1971 to 1982 saw Tom embracing fatherhood, as he lovingly adopted her son, Kevin Shepard, who would later carve his path as a drummer for the renowned American rock band, Tonic. Even after his marriage to Jacqueline ended, Tom still tried to maintain a close relationship with his adopted son. The actor maintained his position as a father figure to the boy for many years, he played a critical role in his acting career. Tom helped him to land roles in movies and TV shows. In the summer of 1987, amidst the whispers of romance, Tom found his forever in Jilly Joan Mack, sealing their love in a sacred bond that gave rise to a cherished daughter, Hannah, born on a wintry December day in 1988. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, Tom's passions extended to the arena of sports, where he found solace and joy. A skilled indoor and beach volleyball player, he graced the courts of the Outrigger Canoe Club in Honolulu, leaving an indelible mark with his talent and camaraderie. 
His love for ice hockey found expression in the roaring cheers of the crowd at Los Angeles Kings games, where he cheered on his favorite players with unwavering enthusiasm. In the realm of cinema, Tom's journey intertwined with the world of baseball, a passion that pulsed through his veins since childhood. From the hallowed grounds of Tiger Stadium to the spring training fields, Tom's immersion in the sport enriched his portrayal in films like Mr. Baseball, where his dedication and training bore fruit on the silver screen. Amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Tom's humility and work ethic shone brightly, earning him the respect and admiration of colleagues like Larry Minetti, who praised his unwavering commitment and generosity of spirit. Beyond the silver screen, Tom's heartbeat was in harmony with the rhythms of patriotism as he lent his voice to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Fund, honoring the sacrifices of those who served their country with valor and honor. In moments of reflection, Tom paid tribute to mentors like James Garner, whose wisdom and guidance shaped his journey, infusing it with purpose and meaning. With each role he embraced and each life he touched, Tom Selleck's story continues to captivate hearts, a testament to the enduring power of talent, passion, and the human spirit. Tom's romantic tale unfolds. In a tale that seems straight out of a romantic comedy, the encounter between Tom Selleck and his future wife, Jilly Mack, unfolds with an unexpected charm that even Hollywood would envy. According to Selleck's co-star, Jane Seymour, their paths first crossed when Selleck attended a performance of the musical Cats in London's West End in 1984. Mack spent her mid-twenties starring in the West End musical Cats as Rumple Teaser. Seymour recalls Selleck's enthusiasm for the show though she couldn't quite share his fervor for repeat viewings. Little did Selleck know that his admiration for the production would lead to a pivotal moment in his personal life. Backstage after the show, Selleck found himself in the presence of the show's star, Jilly Mack, described as a blonde beauty by Seymour. Despite his initial awe, Selleck found it challenging to muster the courage to ask Mack out. Eventually, Mac took matters into her own hands, inviting Selleck for a post-show cocktail, a move that would set the stage for their blossoming romance. Their courtship progressed swiftly, with a dinner leading to a burgeoning romance that transcended continents. When Mac's tenure in Cats concluded, she made a bold decision to follow Selleck across the pond, a testament to the depth of their connection. Their love story culminated in a clandestine wedding shrouded in secrecy to preserve their privacy. Opting for Polaroid photos only, the couple aimed to maintain a sense of dignity amidst the media frenzy, guarding their special day from prying eyes and potential exploitation. On August 7, 1987, amidst the picturesque backdrop of Lake Tahoe, Nevada, Tom Selleck and Jilly Mack embarked on a clandestine journey to matrimony. Opting for a Victorian-style wedding chapel that remained open round the clock, the couple exchanged vows in an intimate ceremony shrouded in secrecy. With only a select few family members in attendance, including Selleck's brother Bob, who orchestrated the affair under aliases to evade the prying eyes of the media, the couple's union was a closely guarded secret. In a whimsical twist of fate, even the minister conducting the ceremony was unaware of the couple's true identities, expecting a Tom Jenkins and a Susie Mark instead. It wasn't until a month later that a local Nevada paper broke the news, unveiling the hush-hush nuptials to the world. Recalling the atmosphere of that momentous day, the chapel's pastor reminisced about the palpable nerves that gripped the couple, underscoring Selleck's earnest desire for a heartfelt and meaningful ceremony. Describing Selleck as a warm and caring man, the pastor painted a portrait of a groom deeply invested in ensuring that the occasion was as special for Mac as it was for him. The union marked a new chapter in Selleck's romantic journey following his previous marriage to actress Jacqueline Ray, which ended in divorce in 1982. With Mac by his side, Selleck embarked on a new adventure filled with love, secrecy, and the promise of a bright future together. The Selleck-Mac family expanded on December 16, 1988, 
with the arrival of their daughter, Hannah Margaret Selleck. Growing up, Hannah found her childhood playground not in bustling city streets, but amidst the serene landscapes of their family ranch. Immersed in the rhythms of rural life, she learned the art of horsemanship, a passion that would shape her future in remarkable ways. Reflecting on their decision to raise Hannah on the ranch, Mac shared with people in 2012 their belief that it offered the optimal environment for their daughter's growth. Selleck echoed this sentiment, noting how their rustic lifestyle instilled in Hannah a sense of responsibility and maturity beyond her years. As Hannah blossomed into adolescence, her affinity for horses flourished into a full-fledged passion. At just 10 years old, she embarked on her equestrian journey, stepping into the competitive world of horseback riding with determination and grace. From local arenas to international stages, Hannah showcased her talent and dedication in both hunter and jumper competitions, earning accolades and admiration along the way. In 2012, Hannah's entrepreneurial spirit led her to establish Descanso Farm, a testament to her commitment to excellence in the equestrian world. With a focus on nurturing top-quality sales horses and fostering the advancement of equine careers, Descanso Farm became a beacon of innovation and excellence in the industry. In a heartwarming glimpse into their family dynamic, Tom Selleck and Jilly Mack's commitment to co-parenting their daughter, Hannah, shines through. Back in 1999, when Hannah was just 10 years old, Selleck emphasized their collaborative approach to decision-making in an interview with the New York Daily News. He underscored their dedication to consulting each other and wholeheartedly supporting each other's parental decisions, fostering a united front for the well-being of their child. Fast forward to 2020, and Selleck's reflections on fame and family life paint a poignant picture of the balancing act he navigates. Speaking to people in April 2020, Selleck candidly admitted the challenges of reconciling his public persona with his roles as a husband and father. Despite the initial uncertainties, he found solace in his relationships and his sanctuary, the ranch. It's a testament to his resilience and priorities, where love and family anchor him amidst the tumult of fame. Yet, amidst the spotlight and introspection, Selleck's admiration for his wife, Jilly Mack, remains a constant source of joy and inspiration. Revealing glimpses of their enduring romance pepper his interviews, with Selleck effusively praising Mack's infectious zest for life. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight in October 2015, he couldn't contain his adoration, describing her as a beacon of joy that illuminates every room she enters. Julie has this kind of joie de vivre, this effervescent quality that just lights up a room. Apart from being my wife, she's my friend. Beyond the roles of husband and wife, Selleck cherishes their deep friendship, a bond that transcends time and enriches their journey together. Thanks for watching. Check out another interesting video by clicking on the link appearing on your screen right now. See you on the other side.